friends, hope keeps us alive. In our series on keeping our families more alive, this month I would like to invite you to make your families more alive with hope. When the second wave of uh, the pandemic hit many of us, we are feeling a sense of loss and distress. Some of us may be sick or have someone close to us suffering from COVID-19. Some of us may have even lost a family member or a dear friend recently. Some of us may be worried about some of the programs that you are planning to have could not take place. Many, many hopes have been shattered or deferred. The hope of a long life, the hope of saying, I am sorry, the hope of saying, I love you, the hope of a last chance to say goodbye. We were hoping, but many of us can relate to one of these experiences, but there is good news. We have Jesus on our side. He knows what it is to experience pain and loss. He is our sure hope. He says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith. <clears throat> he gives us this hope through grace. This hope is the confidence which he creates in our souls as secret evidence that he has taken possession of us, says Thomas Merton. This hope can help us rise above our pain and loss. Helen Keller said, nothing can be done without hope and confidence. In spite of the pandemic, many, of, many families I know are finding new ways of being hopeful family by connecting with each other, serving each other, and spending more time in prayer, transforming sadness into joyful hope. Many individuals and families take time to call a neighbor or a friend experiencing loss by dropping off meals for the elderly, celebrating on Zoom, joining the Rosary and Mass on Facebook. By these acts of kindness and charity, they help reawaken hope in the hearts of their neighbors and friends. We are not people of Good Fridays only, but even more of Resurrection Sunday, a people with hope in abundance to share with others. God bless you and your families.